Young entrepreneurs give their business pitch for a chance to win a full ride to UVM. Channel 3's Cam Smith is live at UVM where that event is still going on. Cam, what can you tell us? Yeah, Kat, the Vermont Pitch Challenge started back in the fall and garnered more than 150 business proposals from high school students throughout the country. Now, today, the five finalists gave their final in-person pitch for a chance at the top prize. I want to make sure that no matter what, that no one feels alone and that they feel that they have someone to talk to. Pippa Scott is a junior at Killington Mountain School and one of the five finalists for the Vermont Pitch Challenge. As a snowboarder, her nonprofit called Ride for Mental Health connects young athletes with resources and support for dealing with mental health challenges. I lost my third friend to suicide and no one seemed to have any plans on how they could help my community. So I realized I had to step up to the plate. I had to be the change and that's when I started Ride for Mental Health. On Thursday, Scott and four other teams of students from across the country and beyond gave their seven minute pitch to a panel of judges with the chance to win a full ride scholarship to UVM. Jay Jacobs, the vice provost at the university, says the experience aims to teach students valuable life skills. Ideally, you know, they are all finding confidence in um, some of those skills that will set them up for success, be that with their business ideas or otherwise, right? public speaking, creative thinking, communication skills, those kinds of things. And after each team gave their pitch, the judges came back and the winner was announced. Of course, our uh, first full tuition and fees scholarship winner for the Vermont Pitch Challenge, Pippa Scott and the Rock. Scott, who won the top prize, says with dedication, anyone can create their own business model. Put the steps into motion. I would say reach out to your support system and talk to them about what your business idea is and then get help. And while Scott did walk away with that full scholarship, each of the students that final that were the finalists today walked away with a little bit of something, anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. And we also spoke again with Jay Jacobs, who says they're already working to improve the pitch challenge for next year. Live in Burlington, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News, first at 4. Cam, thank you.